Delmar from Kids Quest Children's Museum, and today I'm going to be giving you an engineering challenge. So, what we're going to be doing today is figuring out a way for these three friends who are happily sitting in this cup to get from way up high down to the ground in the most gentle way possible. Because if we just drop this cup, whoa! They're gonna go really fast, and I don't think that would be a very fun landing for them. So we're gonna try and figure out a way to make it a better landing for them, so that they don't get hurt when they fall. And I wanna challenge you to use a cup, some scissors, some string. It doesn't have to be a thread like this. It can be yarn, whatever you have at home. And some tape and a plastic bag. What ideas? do we have with these materials? I went ahead and made something with all of these materials. I made a parachute for my cup. So you can see that I went ahead and I cut the handles off my bag. I poked some holes in my cup and then I attached some string from the cup to the bag. Now poking the holes was pretty tricky so you might need your parents help to do that part. And now if I start this from up high, the parachute will catch the wind and it'll fall a little slowly. I'm not able to drop it from that high here when I'm looking at you, but when you do this experiment at home, it's really fun to get as high as you can. Maybe if you stand on a chair with somebody making sure you're safe while you're doing it, or if you have a balcony that's a really fun place to drop it from. So try and find a high spot because your parachute will work better if it has more time to fall down. So when you're doing this experiment, there are lots of different ways that you can make a parachute. And I just did the most simple one. But we have to be able to test that our parachute is actually doing something and it's not just falling the same way. So before you start experimenting, Go ahead and drop your cup without a parachute from the same height you're going to drop your parachute cup and time how long it takes for the cup to get to the ground. And then once you've made your parachute, go ahead and drop that one and time how long it takes to get to the ground. And if it's taking a longer time, then you know that your parachute is working. Because the faster something drops, the rougher a landing it's going to have. So you want to use your parachute to slow your cup down. And another fun way to test if your parachute is working is to lay out a tray with some sugar or sand or flour in it below where you're dropping your cup. So here I have a tray with just some sugar in it. And this way, when I drop my cup, it's going to hit the sugar and it's going to make an impact crater. You see how there's a mark there where the cup landed? And it went pretty deep. So you can see the bottom of the tray now. But if it lands more softly, like I'll just gently press it on the sugar here, you can see that it doesn't make as much of a mark. So you can see what kind of impact things will make when they fall from your parachute. And to reset your material, you can just shake your tray and then it'll spread out again. And then once you have your parachute working for, I have just three friends who are made out of paper. You can do the same thing or you can use one of your toys. But once you have it working for your first toy, go ahead and add something else to your parachute. See if it also works if you add something heavier. So if I add this yarn too, my parachute is going to have to support more weight. So go ahead and test it with more weight and see if your parachute is still slowing your cup down or if you have to change it because there's more weight inside. And go ahead and experiment with how you've used your plastic bag. Because just cutting it open might not be the best way to use your parachute. What if you make the opening smaller or wider? What if you have less area in your parachute? What if it's shorter? So I only have 
a parachute that's this tall as opposed to this tall. How will that change your parachute? You can also cut your plastic to make your own parachute shape. So I've started one here by just cutting triangles out of my material. So you can see the square here where I've been cutting out triangles and then I can make a whole circle of these and attach it and see if this shape that I made will work better than just the back. So you can experiment and make lots of different parachutes. Just remember to time how fast they're going and see how much of an impact they're having when they land. Because that is two of the ways that you can figure out how effective your parachute is. And see if you can come up with some other ways to test how great of a parachute you've built. And you can keep adding heavier and heavier things to your cup to test your parachute. And once you have a parachute that you really, really like, for a final challenge, you can add an egg, something fragile and breakable to your cup and see if you can get it to the ground without it cracking. So you'll want to have a really good parachute for that one, or you might get a broken egg in your cup. So these are lots of ways that you can experiment with building parachutes. So I hope that you have fun and you get to build something really awesome. Once you're really proud of your parachute, take a picture of it and share it with us at Kids Quest so we can see all of the awesome things you're making. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.